Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading Exodus 9 of the King James Version. And it reads thus, Then the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh and tell him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go that they may serve me. For if thou refuse to let them go and wilt hold them still, behold, the hand of God of the Lord is upon thy cattle, which is in the field, upon the horses, upon the asses, upon the camels, upon the oxen, and upon the sheep. There shall be a very grievous moraine. And the Lord shall sever between the cattle of Israel and the cattle of Egypt. And there shall nothing die of all that is the children of Israel. And the Lord appointed a set time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord shall do this thing in the land. And the Lord did that thing on the morrow, and all the cattle of Egypt died, but the cattle of the children of Israel died not one. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not one of the cattle of the Israelites dead. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And the Lord said unto Moses and unto Aaron, Take to you handfuls of ashes of the furnace, and let Moses sprinkle it toward the heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. And it shall become small dust in all the land of Egypt, and shall be a boil breaking, f and shall be a boil breaking forth with the blains upon man and upon beasts throughout all the land of Egypt. And they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it up toward heaven, and it became a boil, breaking forth with blains upon man and upon beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils, for the boil was upon the magicians and upon all the Egyptians. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning, and stand before Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For I will at this time and all my, send all my plagues upon thine heart, and upon thy servants, and upon thy people, that thou mayst know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now I will stretch out my hand, that I may smite thee and thy people with pestilence, and thou, sh and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in, very, and in very deed for this cause have I raised thee up, for to shew in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exaltest thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go. Behold, tomorrow, about this time, I will cause it to rain a very grievous ale, such as hath not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Send therefore now, and gather thy cattle, and all that thou hast in the field, for upon every man and beast which shall be found in the field, and shall not be brought home, the ale shall come down upon them, and they shall die. He that feared the word of the Lord among the servants of Pharaoh made his servants and his cattle flee into the houses, and he that regarded not the word of the Lord left his servants and his cattle in the field. And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch forth thine hand toward heaven, that there may be ale in all the land of Egypt, upon man and upon beast and upon every herb of the field throughout the land of Egypt. And Moses stretched forth his rod toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and ale and the fire ran along upon the ground, and the Lord rained hail upon the land of Egypt, so that there was ale and fire mingled with the ale, very grievous, such as there was none like it in all the land of Egypt since it became a nation. 
and the ill smote throughout all the land of Egypt, all that was in the field, both men, both man and beast, and the ill smote every herb of the field, and break every tree in the field of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, was there no ill. And Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron, and said unto them, I have sinned this time. The Lord is righteous, and I and my people are wicked. Entreat the Lord, for it is enough that there be no more mighty thunderings and ill, and I will let you go, and ye shall stay no longer. And Moses said unto him, As soon as I am gone out of the city, I will spread abroad my hand and under the Lord, unto the Lord, sorry, unto the Lord, and the thunder shall cease, neither shall there be any more hail, that thou mayst know how that the earth is the Lord's. But as for thee and thy servants, I know that ye will not yet fear the Lord God. And the flax and the barley were smitten, for the barley was in the air, and the flax was bald. But the wheat of the rye of the rye were not smitten, for they were not grown up. And Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spent and spread abroad his hands unto the Lord, and the thunders and ill ceased, and the rain was not poured upon the earth. And when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the ale and the thunders were ceased, he sinned yet more, and hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, neither, neither will he let the children of Israel go as the Lord had spoken unto by Moses. Sorry. Alright guys, so in this chapter we see where Pharaoh is feeling that he actually believes in our God in God and God's power and says that he will let the children of Israel go and I think that he was not really feeling but he in the moment he realized God's power and that he has no power and that God is truly with the children of Israel and so he decided in that moment to let the children of Israel go however when God has God had eased up on the ale and the thunderings, right? What happened was that he was he felt okay in himself and I guess he felt regretful and he's like, Why am I gonna let them go? How else will I how else will my nation be built if we have no slaves to work for us? If we have no free labor then we'll have to pay and then we won't be a mighty nation anymore. I'm just I'm just going out on a limb here guys and saying that's what he was thinking so then he thought to himself okay I can't let these people go no way I'm going to lose out Moses already asked God to stop the hail and I mean can it get worse than that and so he decided he wasn't gonna send them out I'm just saying I'm just saying guys so yeah but God is indeed awesome and will come to realize everything and Pharaoh will come to see the errors of his way of his ways and even if he doesn't come to the full realization which we know he doesn't in the end because he still went after the children of Israel right so guys I'm enjoying this story so far I don't know about you guys but Exodus is one of the books of the Bible that I'm always very I'm enamored with and I always get excited reading it because it's it's kind of a thrilling story and it shows just all it shows human nature a lot of human nature is brought out in it a lot and if you check the other Bible verses within the Bible they're not so they don't show so much deceit and all these things that we experience as human beings all these things that 
all these sins that we do all these trials and tribulations i don't see much of that throughout the rest of the bible so i see much more in exodus than any other book but you're free to digress from my belief and i don't know call me out <laughs> all right so guys i uh, thank you for listening and don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification and share with your family and friends and don't forget to share your revelations down below share your comments down below you can always contest what i said down below also or you can hit me up i'm just saying all right guys so have yourself a blessed day bye